hey what's up everybody guys I, I am Shayan you are watching Shayan tech welcome back to my new video I hope everything is fine with you guys stay at home with your families as much as you can guys so here as I promised you that I will make a, a new video here for the features of um, Android 10 version here in my Nokia 7.2 device here you can see in my hand it's Nokia 7.2 device and I will show you all the features here the new features for Android 10 version what they have removed or they have bring in this Nokia 7.2 device so if you are new on my channel don't forget to subscribe like and share press the bell icon and you will get uh, or you will see all the notifications from my new video and also from my old video video and if you uh, find uh, or if you like any part of this video or this video don't forget to like share and subscribe so I will go through this uh, video from uh, the new uh, features here from Android uh, 10 version here in Nokia 7.2 device so let's get started <music> Okay guys welcome back here now and I will show you the new features here in uh, Nokia device uh, from Android uh, 10 uh, version so the first feature that I want to show you it's uh, here if you will press the volume button here you can see uh, the three lines here for the volume if you'll click it here it will bring you uh, here for the media volume call volume also a ring volume alarm volume and here it's done you can see and here you can see see more if you click it it will sh uh, it will bring you here to the sound uh, settings for the next feature if you will click the uh, uh, right under volume the power button it will show you like this now you can see here power button power off lockdown also a restart a screenshot is also now here and also the next thing here it's uh, they have bring emergency here if you click the emergency you can call it and it's a very very good cool feature that they have bring it here now guys uh, i will show you here uh, in the toggles uh, the dark mode here the dark mode if you um, scroll down from here you can see this is the dark theme that uh, they have especially they have especially if I, I show you just give me a second that this is the dark theme as you can see in the toggles the colors are like this i will show you also the colors that how you can change this accent colors and if we go here uh, in the settings you can see the settings is looking like this it's very good that they have bring this dark mode or dark theme here in this uh, in this system or in this nokia devices or in android uh, devices uh, let me show you here in the update uh, uh, just give me a second here this is the screenshot and maybe you can see clearly let me close it to you guys that you can see here and in this that they have specially shown this uh, in this uh, 10 android uh, version that dark theme this is the most important uh, feature that they have bring it and also the smart reply and also guest navigation that uh, i will show you in short time now after some time and also additional controls for privacy so uh, i will show you all these three or four features and also uh, more features from this um, uh, new android 10 version so uh, now after that if you go here sliding uh, down uh, this uh, toggle bar and after that you have to little bit slide slide down more and here you can see the focus mode if you click the focus mode here let me uh, change here uh, the dark theme into normal theme that you can see it here you can see now clearly that they have shown in the focus mode pause distracting apps when you need time to focus when you are focusing something or when you are doing your work or doing any assignments or anything then you can restrict the, these apps here by clicking them like uh, here you will click it and after that you can also set uh, uh, these uh, apps uh, uh, while doing your work restrict them and after that you can also see here set a schedule if you will 
click it turn on now you can see here and you can also turn it off take a break or something like this it will it will set it like this and you can also turn it uh, off as as your desire um, as your desire apps which app you want to uh, distract means that which uh, app you want you don't want that it show you or it disturbs you uh, like most of time that you are getting the sms okay guys now uh, we have to go in the settings as we are in the settings and now after that we have to go here in the about phone as i show you here this is the android 10 version and here this is android if i click here you can see android 10 version so now the thing the main thing that i am going to show you here it is they are guesters so we will go to the guesters and these are the guesters now and you have seen here guesters swipe and jump and uh, slide down or reject or move or slide down to check all these uh, notifications or but the main thing is here system navigation when you will press this they will show you this two uh, navigations here the previous navigation was like this two button navigation this uh, app switch swipe up, uh, swipe up on the home button to see all the apps swipe up again to go back tap back button if you will do like this now guys if you will do like this i have also set here accessibility i will show you how to set that but in this uh, you can go here by uh, pressing this to the home button uh, you will get back in the home screen and by swiping up you can go here like this and you can also go like back this and this is uh, uh, the old version like uh, I can say in Android 9 version these um, guesters but the now uh, now the new guesters are here as you can see you can see also the demo here that you if you press like this up it will show you the recent apps or recent tab here that all the recent app apps or tabs uh, in the tabs you can see if you will little bit slide up you can see all the applications if you will slide down it will go back if you will slide down it will go back if you want to minimize this you only sl slide like this with your thumb and it will be gone or it will be disappeared as you can see on the screen now uh, the thing is that it's very very good uh, in my opinion i definitely like this because it's a very good option and very good uh, a new feature from uh, this android uh, 10 version now uh, the thing is that i will show you also the smart reply if we go back here in the system and uh, we will go for the smart reply I will click here and then suggestions and then here you can see suggestions in chat it will show you like this suppose uh, if somebody is uh, sending SMS you so it will set a smart reply automatically that uh, somebody saying hi how are you then uh, it will show the message like this here that you can see hi how are you you can say fine I'm good I'm fine I am good uh, it also shows here in the message box that uh, we can can direct message from here to other person it will show you directly a smart reply and also on whatsapp I have seen and also on uh, Facebook messengers in my opinion this is also a very 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 good uh, um, new feature from uh, this Android 10 version now uh, we will go for uh, the location and the privacy to allowing the app and um, uh, for this that we have to go for first here in the, um, the privacy and in the privacy you can see permission manager and here you can allow the app or unallow the app suppose if I am going in the camera clicking this and here you can see I have allowed app that they are allowed that you, I can use or you can see also this or read this app with the permission can take pictures or record that you can take uh, you can do or take anything what you want 
and here are the apps that they are access to denied that they are not allowed if you want to do this you can bring that uh, to allow and uh, pressing the allow to bring to the uh, to the here allow section you can also do did this like this to the deny section and then you can uh, bring these apps to the denied section as you can see on the screen clearly if we go back here it was in the privacy now i will show you in the location also the same thing in the location when you will come here you can see app permission clicking by app permission here guys you can see all the same thing that allow all the time you can also allow all the time allow only while using this app or the app or that app or you can also deny go back <coughs> and i will also show you here allow uh, only while in use and here is the denied so i just missed uh, one uh, very good uh, feature let go let me go back and i will show you here in the gestures when you will go for the system navigation here you can see that i show you that if you will slide like up it will be disappear that app or if you will slide like this it will show you also the recent apps or recent tab here and you can do also like this but if you want to go back uh, give me a second if i want to go back i will slide like this it will go back and if i want to go back from here i can also slide like this it will go back and here uh, in this corner you will see that if you will slide like this it will open uh, the google assistant and if you will slide like this it will open the google assistant so this is also a very very good uh, very good options in my opinion and i hope i hope you guys like that now the next feature is in the settings and it's a uh, wi-fi sharing and i will show you the wi-fi sharing if you will click the wi-fi here and after that you can see that's this gear you have to click that and here is the wi-fi sharing if you click that and give the permission here <coughs> then you can share your wi-fi with your friends or anybody or well uh, are in your home uh, friends or family or brother or anyone you want to share you can share their wi-fi and also uh, if we go back here by adding this uh, clicking this add network you have to click this uh, this scan qr code like this and you can join the network or internet uh, from from the desire where are you uh, suppose if you are in hospital or you are somewhere that you have seen um qr code of wi-fi you can do like this. the next feature is haptic feedback and how to do that it's uh, in accessibilities i hope so and here yes it's in accessibilities and here you can see uh, vibration and haptic strength ring on notification uh, uh, notification one and touch off this is the vibration here you can see on the screen notification vibration you can off it on it it's your desire and you can also do this same thing and this is the touch feedback you can on it or off it according to your desire if we come here uh, here is the accessibility menu you can allow it and after that you can open it and it's clear by swapping two fingers from uh, um, from down to up like this it will show you the assistant here and also accessibility settings power volume up and volume down also recent apps brightness down up and lock screen and also quick settings notification and short cut so if you will i will show you also then more one more thing when you will click here uh, it will also show you here at the, in the power button but right now it's not showing i will sh uh, just give me a second i will show you in some time uh, i hope it will work and here uh, switch access allow it and now you can see here that uh, the accessibility menu are showing uh, here you can also click here and it will show you here uh, exactly like this as i told you um, in this accessibility menu 
now uh, we will go further for uh, in the accessibility menu as i told you we have also more uh, two things here you can see uh, power button and call you can do also like this but power button by end call you can make it uh, here uh, end or a yes or no active or unactive enable or disable here you can also see in the accessibility menu it's it's also uh, here the dark theme you can activate the dark theme from here but uh, it's very easy if you go here uh, from the toggles and you can um, activate or deactivate that dark theme according to your desire so guys here and now we will go for the next step in um, the about phone and in about the phone you have to see here the bill number you have to click uh, whether when you will see the message that you are now in developer mode you have to go back and then after that you have to go in the systems you have to go in advanced and after that you have to go in the developer option when you will uh, uh, when you will go in the developer option you, you can see a lot of things here a lot of things uh, you can also go for the screen in uh, stay awake screen will never sleep while charging you can enable or disable or active or unactive it and also uh, if you scroll down completely to the downside here you can see the icons that you can change it and uh, uh, i have right now is squircel and squircel is here, here uh, uh, like you can go for the rounded rectangle teardrop square if i go for the square and after sometimes if i go for the menu here it's showing me in the circle or in the circle side so if i go back here and then i go according to my desire shape i can do also that here is um uh, here is the accent colors guys you can also see in the developer option and uh, uh, you can see also here default cinnam uh, cinnamon here if we go here for that it will change you can also go for black and uh, you will also go uh, according to your desire ocean and it will change the accent colors here on your device guys so in my option uh, all these uh, new features what i told you what i show you here are very 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 useful for me according to my opinion so uh, just uh, tell me how you like this all new features from uh, this uh, nokia 7.2 from android uh, 10 version update if you like any part of this video don't forget to subscribe like and share or my videos uh, you are welcome this this give me uh, motivation to make more videos for you guys uh, informative videos for you guys until uh, now that's all from my side and i will uh, bring more videos for you guys take care of yourself and i will see you in my next video thank you very much see you bye bye September we met, I could tell by a smile, you hadn't been with a good girl I